Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Um, sorry that my voice is not 100% yet still. It's going to crack. I'm probably going to cough here and there. I'm trying not to because I have the, the mini mic here, which I feel like it would be just like in your face. Um, but I had over the last really three weeks because what the... I know I ordered this the day of one of the things that I'm about to show you, the day of the eclipse, um, which was about a month ago, actually. Wasn't it April 8th or April 10th, something like that? Um, let me see if I can, since I'm at the computer. It was a Monday, so it was April 8th. Um, and I had ordered one of these then. It was, it took longer to ship than the other item I'm going to show you. But either way, um, I have been collecting up a small, very small collection, um, but very small though, um, as you're about, you're about to see, of a uh, hand-dyed yarn that I found in random places on the interwebs, and I had decided I could not live without. You know how that goes, right? Um... One I found on Facebook, like a random, you know, once Facebook realizes what you're, what you're into, you get the customized ads. Um, so I found one of those dyers on Facebook. Uh, and the other one, like after I ordered that, I just got curious about whether there was Stranger Things yarn still out there. Maybe on like a platform that I didn't look because like, Etsy doesn't seem to have any that I haven't seen already and that kind of thing yet. Um, but Instagram came through for me. So one purchase was from Instagram and one purchase was from Facebook. Um, and yeah, I've already said, you know, they're hand dyed yarn. So for those of you interested, um, anybody who has like a wool allergy, I'm so sorry. But these, I mean, you can Google the beautifulness. That's what I would do still. But um, as far as like touching them and they're, they're both wool. Um, but yeah, why don't we just get into what I got? Um, let's see, should I show you? I'm going to show you the Instagram yarn first. I was fiddling with something and like a weird little patch of dry skin, like from a cut or something on my finger that's long healed and it's just dry skin now. So I was like, Oh, there's something on my finger. Yeah, it turns out it was skin. <laughs> Sorry. Probably TMI. Um, <laughs> so I got, let me not show you my address, this cute, just little uh, eco-enclosed, 100% recycled poly mailer in the mail one day. And then I remembered my excitement from Instagram, right? Um, let me see if I have a card in here. I do. Um, yarn Baby, that's who I was trying to, uh, Yarn Baby Indie Dyed Artisan Yarn, here is her card, her name, oh, that's got a reflection, sorry, um, her name is Shannon, um, let me see, ooh, I got a promo code, ooh, here is her cute little logo, with her rainbowy hair, isn't that cute, um, she has a website. It says, follow Yarn Baby on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Ravelry. And over here, she's got yarnbaby.biz. The yarn, I'm just saying, the yarn on her card is beautiful. I would want that. That's so pretty. Um, but she had the Stranger Things yarn that I've looked for. Um... You guys ready? This is so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, since it since I I was sick when it came and everything like that, I did already peel it open. I'm sorry. Um, couldn't expect me to wait that long, right? Normally, I like to open with you guys. Um, and she has a a tag on here. Um, that says colorway Stranger Things yarn base and weight. Um, Athena sock, plus or minus 437 yards. Uh, fiber content, and this is another thing that sold me. You know, I like the what I would consider like the odd fiber that's not like 
the sheep, basically, as far as natural fiber. Um, it is 70% uh, superwash merino, 20% yak, and 10% nylon. Like, I have that yarn that's camel yarn. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I'm, I haven't used it yet because I'm so excited to own it. And I think it's so soft and just wonderful. This is yak. I know yak is, I guess, probably a little more common than camel, but I don't think I have any yak personally. Anyway, are you ready? Isn't that gorgeous? The black and the gray and the red just where it marries here together is like this just deep, rich burgundy. Everything about this is the Stranger Things like logo, signature colors. And it marries my two most beloved things, yarn art and Stranger Things. Isn't that beautiful? It is a sock weight and she only had one. Um, otherwise, I would potentially use this to join a blanket made from another... Um, advent calendar for stranger things but alas she only had one I'm not very good with my like yardage and this and that but maybe that that would make a good border on said sock weight type of yarn blanket i don't know um for one skein of it I, maybe i could mix it with another to make like a pretty decent shawl i don't know what would you guys do with one skein of sock weight yarn I don't know what I was thinking as far as making something. I just really, really wanted to own it. And I'm not going to knit socks. I'm. That's one of my, like, endeavors. I mean, I guess I could save it forever in case I do end up knitting socks. But I have not yet made a pair of socks. So I don't want to keep this on the off chance. But I suppose... I, there's a good possibility I'm just going to keep it around because it's Stranger Things, but I do want to use it. It's beautiful, and it's soft. It's so soft. Um, I don't really want to mess it up. You guys believe me that it's sock weight, right? <laughs> Here. It's sock weight. <laughs> um, but it's yak. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. Anyway, so that was one of my purchases, which technically was my second purchase, but it came first. So however you want to look at it, the chicken, the egg, whichever one came first, it came to my house first, right? The next one was the one from Facebook, and it came in this cool mailer um, with the arrows all over it. Um, this was from Destination Yarn. Which, um, neither one of these, like, maybe people that are, like, more familiar with, um, you know, hand dyers, fiber artist type, indie dyers, um, maybe you are more familiar with, maybe they're much bigger than I give them credit for. Um, I mean, I only know some of the, like, pretty big hand dyers and, or, you know, yarn dyers, um, which, like I said, maybe they are and they've just not been on my radar personally but um I had not and I'm very pleased with them let me just say let me pull these out off camera so you guys get the surprise reveal factor because that I basically took away from you <laughs> um by opening it but this I had ordered when they're, they've got a really pretty yarn on sorry I was looking at their card um during the solar eclipse, the full solar eclipse, um, I was pretty geeked out about it. Uh, it meant a lot to me personally. I wanted to witness it. Uh, I did get to witness it. I was off that day. Um, I had made a video clip of the whole thing, like through my lens things, but it just it didn't work out. It, you wouldn't have it wouldn't have been very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I never ended up posting that footage, but. I did find, like I said, uh, David and I had went out for lunch that day and I had just randomly been on my phone perusing Facebook and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful. And I was really struggling about getting it. And he said, um, 
you're going to regret not getting it. Just get it. So I did. Um, as, as I said, that's from Destination Yarn. I got this really pretty thank you card. Thank you. Your support means the world to us. Um, on the back, it has this stunning yarn, which I think it's, let me see. Okay, there's no like super secret code or anything, but look at that yarn. Purples and reds and oranges. It's gorgeous. I wonder what that is. <laughs> They're selling me on just their cards, right? Um, but the name of the yarn, I don't know if you guys will be familiar with this, is called Total Eclipse, which of course also feeds another love of mine because every time I look at this I think of Bonnie Tyler do you guys know where I'm going with this I think you do total eclipse of the high okay <laughs> all right are you ready this yarn is stunning let me say before I show it to you because this has to be a big reveal I know I'm talking it up but if my camera shows off the lusciousness in my hand right now I think you're going to agree that it was worth the wait um, this is, it's on a silver shiny DK base. It's obviously DK weight yarn, 75% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, and 5%, here's what's going to give it away, Stellina. Um, I don't know why I did that with my tongue, sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like four or five in the morning right now, so... And I napped today, so I'm a little, um, it's 231 yards, which is 100 grams, it's 3.5 ounces, um, machine wash cold, lay flat to dry. All right, total eclipse on silver shiny DK. You guys ready? Oh, yes, you can, oh my gosh, you can really see the look at that oh it's even prettier on camera than i thought it would be sometimes it just doesn't reflect the amazingness of of the yarn right and i know you know sometimes especially with like skeins i'm doing the whole here it's washed out here it's like um especially with my ring light but i have a different like odd setup up here i do have like yeah see i do have light on you guys uh, on me i guess but you guys can see it anyway look at this gorgeousness have i disturbed you a little maverick i'm so sorry <laughs> he's like enough excitement mother <laughs> all the different it's obviously like a blue going into like almost a purpley darker blue going into this dark dark into black and then there's still this very vibrant fiery orange that's coming out of the black right and then it's going up to this beautiful gold gold burgundy and right up into the burgundy and the red it's it's almost like what i always call a technicolor rainbow because it's vibrant but not a complete rainbow like there's no green unless there's some meeting of the yarn in here somewhere um And there's black so like it's just it's not it's not a rainbow but it is a rainbow it's gorgeous and look at the glitter you guys know glitter is i love glitter it's it's life for me um for those of you who don't know because i never wear like full makeup or anything like that i'm goth and uh i would there's so many not to get into a tangent about this but there's so many like sub sublets subcultures sub subspecies of goth nowadays um you know you have your victorian goths which are the the more victorian and there's cyber goths and there's um steampunks which are steampunk goth i guess is a goth <laughs> um <laughs> it is no offense to anybody who may may or may not be a steampunk 
goth out there but i am what i would consider like there's pastel goths that's not that's not me um more power to you if that is you there's nothing wrong with that either um but i am what i would ca call a glitter goth um because i am clothing wise and style and makeup wise very dark black kind of traditionally goth i guess or 80s goth um because that's really when i started like i was very young when i decided like i didn't know that it was goth to be goth at the time um but that stuck with me like my makeup putting on my makeup has evolved i don't just like eyeshadow and go anymore but um it's still pretty traditional mixed with this glittery like i will goth out and then dust myself in glitter like to me there is nothing wrong with being like glitter bombed there's no such thing as too much glitter i don't look at glitter as a bad thing or anything like that um i love it i live for it i would glitter encrust my life if it were feasible <laughs> um and to have just like a dark rainbow of glitter i this is beautiful and it very much embodies a solar eclipse right because it, there's the before and there's the after and then there's like the the during it's she, she i don't know if it's a she or a they or uh, i am to be honest but whomever is behind destination yarn did this amazing wonderful job I think this is beautiful. I want to definitely look at their other yarns at some point when I'm in a place where I'm going to buy. I'm, I was feeling quite guilty over buying this, but um, like David said, I would feel guilty if I didn't get it and feel regret and everything because I think it was a limited time for just because they're, um, where are they located? I think there's an address on here. Um, Cleveland, Ohio, but they were, they, they put on the ad that they're, they were right in the trajectory line or whatever it was called for the for the eclipse um as was michigan and i'm in lower michigan so i mean we didn't have a hundred percent coverage but we had something high very high it was enough to see quite a bit of it um so i was pretty happy anyway buyer's remorse back to that because i knew i would miss out and david talked me into not only getting one but getting two how beautiful it's twice as sparkly and twice as pretty and i am in love and it smells good it smells for my limited smeller it smell you can smell some wool i think i always add i think because like i don't know what if my nose is being true or if it's something i think i should be smelling but it doesn't smell bad like there's a hint of like this naturalness to it there's no like i know sometimes people say they can smell like vinegar or the dye i don't smell any but remember my sniffer doesn't work well and hasn't since i was a kid so i never know what i don't know how to put it like almost like psychosomatically or whatever i don't know if my brain is telling me i should be smelling something or if i'm actually smelling it <laughs> um because there's some scents that do like get through that poorly working sniffer but or at least my brain tells it it is oh, why am i still smelling it anyway <laughs> look at oh all the pretty okay okay yes mm, very excited i do not know if there's any of this left i don't know if i got the last of it i don't know but it's gorgeous and like i said each one of these had what 231 yards so i have for roughly 460 yards 462 yards of this gorgeous ek and i don't honestly have a plan i don't know what i'm going to do with it but i want to do something amazing with it because it's gorgeous <laughs> mm, so pretty so pretty in the light it's total eclipse of the heart all right um so yes that is what that is what i ended up getting for my yarn haul and i've managed to talk to you 20 full minutes about it um 
I just I did veer off topic a little bit. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. Uh, let me know. Am, have I just been living under a rock or have you guys heard of one of the dyers? Um, or both of the dyers? Let me put it that way. Destination Yarn or um, Yarn Baby. I imagine with how beautiful both of these are, they're probably some pretty well-known dyers that I just haven't myself heard of. Um, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? Or if you haven't heard of them, maybe you might want to look them up and give them a, give them a try. See what they're all about. I don't know. They have some beautiful yarn, I can tell you that, just from what I got. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I was going to do another video to like batch batch record tonight but my voice as you can tell is already downwards spiraling um I'm just not voice wise and lung wise I'm just not where I would like to be yet I'm not 100% so uh on that note I'm gonna get ready for bed instead and take Maverick with me he's been disturbed by my excitedness a little too much already so we're ready for bed um, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.